Hey guys, I'm making a tutorial on Pivot and I'm going to show you guys how to download it and use it. So let's go to downloading. So you're going to type on Google Pivot and then once you're done typing it, you're going to click on the first thing, so Pivot Animator. And now you're going to go on the download page. So you're going to go on the download page right there. And there's two pivot like programs you can download. The first one on the top it has more features, and is then the bottom one which has less features. It's more basic. So I'm gonna choose the top one, and it doesn't really matter which one you choose. But so I'm gonna choose the top one. There. Now you're gonna click skip now you're gonna to want to click skip after you um, click on the one you want and then skip again because it wants to download some kind of program another program but that you don't need it for pivot so now you're just gonna wait for it to download and then once it's done downloading you click on it like that wait for it to open Once it opens, you're going to click next, accept, wait for it to load, and now you're going to click decline, wait for it to load. Alright, now you're going to click finish. Accept, accept, and wait for it to download. And then it should be ready. Finish. And finish. Now, wait for it to open. Select your language. I chose English. You can choose whatever language you want and now it's ready all right now that you opened it it should come like this um the uh the scene might not be the same size so if you want to change it just go and edit options and then you can you want to change it by 720 and 480 you don't have to do it you can do whatever size you want but whatever um click ok and now you have a now you have the scene so I'll show you the tools real quick there's um the X deletes um, the your object or your stick man I'll just add one all right all right so now the pencil allows you to change your character object you can make a new one or you can add stuff to it like this, you just, you can add a circle by clicking the circle, then click the joint you want to add it to, and then you go like, then click it again for the right size, and then when you're done, you can click File, uh, Save, which would save it or Save As would save it so that you can use it in any animation you want, and then Add to Animation just adds it to your animation. You have to write a title for it before putting it on and you can't use the same name twice so and now you have a stick man all right um one set all right so next on this button allows you to put any object back to the circle uh, to the center point so you tap the object you want and then you tap this and it puts them back to the center uh, this one flips the object around so if you want to turn the object it turns it and um, this one changes the color of your your object so you can choose what color your objects are um, this one puts the object forward or backwards 
right? So you put it forward another, be uh, in front of another object and behind of another object. So I can add another stick man, put this one behind, and now the red's in front. If I put the red behind, or behind, it puts him behind, and then in front, so you get the point. And um, to know which object you're gonna change, you have to click one of the joints of the object, other object, and it will turn red and then orange for the for the joint that um allows you to move the stick man around and see like this and then it's blue here but it's like that all right um this one is copy paste so now you can cop have more than one so copy paste and then yeah this allows you to change the size of your stick man you can also just type in the box like that um 100 is the default so and then this allows you to change the opacity of your characters and yeah that's basically all you need to know for the tools now if you want to make an animation now if you want to make an animation you can start with this stick man and now you start in the pose you want him to be in so we'll just put him like this and then if you want to add a floor or anything like that click the pencil file new which will make a new object then you can go like this move it here edit and then you click edit mode and then you click and then you edit mode allows you to make it longer like this file add to animation floor now it's too small uh, it's too small so um but if you hold it's way too small for the floor, but if you hold control, you can change any size of the joint. Like, you can change the length of it. If you hold control when you move it, there, like that. See how it, the joint doesn't move, like, far? Like, it doesn't change length, but if you hold control, you can change the length of it. Uh, try to put it. And you can see how it snaps back to the main position, like this. If you go back, it snap. You can feel it snaps so that you don't lose how far it was from the real joint. So now I'm gonna animate him jumping. So I'll just put him on the ground, like so. To add a frame, you click Add Frame, or you can click Spacebar, which goes way faster. And now you just move each joint of the body, like so. Add frame. Like this. Now you can make it um, go you can make it fast. You can animate faster if you make like bigger transitions between frames. Like if you want like this right away, but it doesn't look that good if you go too uh, fast. If you animate too big of a gap, or if you don't put enough of a gap, it might not look as good. But um, yeah. And then what you can do is like control put it like so so like this and then you go like that so it looks like his knees are going up right and then you can bend the arms and now if you just look at it right now by clicking P you can see the animation but then if you or play and then S to stop um, you can change the the uh, how fast it goes with the frame rate so this is how many drawings per second 
um, it plays so 6.7 is the slowest you can do it and then 33.3 .3 is the fastest but um, 12 is usually good for this for this kind of animation stickman animation you can't really tell so now I'm gonna continue animating him he's and then he's gonna jump so now I'm gonna make it I'm gonna make the gaps bigger like each frame I'm gonna make the gaps bigger and um, if you didn't know the uh, here we're a sec um, each like time you make a new frame you see a little like grayish um, image well that that image shows the frame before so you can know where the stick man was it's not actually gonna be in your in your um, animation so now I'm gonna make him jump whenever you got as high as you can go in a jump you slow down and then you start falling now if you play it you have a stickman jumping so um yeah thanks for watching hope you enjoyed and see you next time